Hey, what is up, everyone? Uh, sorry for starting late. Hold on one sec. Give me one, give me like 10 seconds if my phone will work. Why is this not working? Okay, sorry, my phone's being weird. Uh, yes, we're going to get started. Sorry. Sorry for starting late. So um, my kids, we had to drop them off um, for or like at my parents' house for a baby to babysit them. Sorry, I'm still trying to catch my breath. But we were halfway there and I realized I forgot the baby bag. And so, yeah, I had to turn back around, come back, grab that, go back there, run back over here. And so, yeah, sorry for starting late. And let's, guys, let's just get started. Like, ha first of all, Happy New Year. Like, I know technically this new, the New Year's is tomorrow, but Happy New Year. Like, it's basically 2021. Oh, where I'm at, it's uh, 240. And so I know in Australia, it's already, it's already the New Year. So Happy New Year, guys. 2020 is basically done. And so let's start this new year uh, opening up some Pokemon packs. Every pack. So we're going to be opening up every single set, every single booster box from 2020. Rebel, so Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash. Uh, Darkness of Blaze, Vivid Voltage, and Champion's Path does not have a booster box, but we're going to be opening up three Elite Trainer boxes as well as six additional packs so that we have the equivalent of a booster box for Champion's Path. And we'll see, you know, which set really was the best one of 2020. Um, as another side note, Celeste is not with me because this is going to be a long opening. And quite frankly, I don't think she... She would, uh, I know she doesn't have the patience to go, you know, two hours opening up a uh, uh, Pokemon cards. So, yeah, uh, guys, let's just get started. Like, I, this is going to be a long opening. So, let's get started with some Sword and Shield and get going. But let's see who we got on here. We got a few people on here Sage and Grookey, I see you. Uh, Resilient Hollow, see you guys too. Lost Chicken, Lost Chicken, what's up, man? How you doing? You're the same one from TikTok, right? The one who pulled you pulled that uh that hyper rare Pikachu. I saw that. Uh Killer X Gaming, I see you too. Thanks for being here, man. Okay. Well, let's get started with some sword and shield. Um, another quick note, guys. I do have maybe this is TMI, but I do have a canker sore right over here. And so I do love to smile and everything. Um, but unfortunately, if I basically if I'm start if I start making like a really weird face when I'm trying to smile, it's because I got a sore right here, and so it's kind of keeping me from really smiling that much. But ooh, there we go. Okay, guys, sword and shield. Let me just move a few things around and let's get started. I have not opened up a booster box for sword and shield, but here we go. So how's your how's your guys' gay day? I, I can't talk. Day going. What well, you guys? What are your plans for New Year's Eve other than watching some Pokemon cards or watching some Pokemon pack openings? What are you guys doing today? And we are going to try moving through these really quickly since we are opening up 180 packs today. That is a Bell Toy and Tortinator non hollow. You know, not going to lie, I know this is a long, going to be a long opening. And, I, and like I said, I know that Celeste wouldn't be able to handle the two hours that this is going to take. But I miss her. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of really wish she was here. I just know she's going to have lots of fun at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Dude, I'm hoping I pull something insane too. I mean, it's a lot of packs, so we're bound to open up or get something good. And all right, knocked out for the rare. And guys, so we so Celeste won't be joining us today, but my wife, who's upstairs, said she might be joining us. And if you guys saw uh, that video with her in it, whoa, what in the world happened here? That was like super dusty on this card. That's weird. But yeah, if you guys saw that video uh, with my wife from, uh, I think that was like two weeks ago. She pulled some good stuff. So if she hops in, good chance she's going to pull um, a few ultra rares, maybe a hyper rare. But we'll see. I know she's a, she's a little nervous on camera. And to be honest, I'm also a little nervous doing this right now, guys. Like, it's one thing just recording something, you know, and then putting it out on YouTube. 
it's another thing when you know uh you know people are actually watching you like in the moment <laughs> okay and i will if you guys are looking for codes i will go ahead and dish out some codes in a bit let's just get through some some packs first and i'll give out some codes uh you visit gamestop and barnes nobles i didn't have anything you should paint a paint a card wait you should paint a card your painting is really good oh yeah that painting if you're talking okay first hollow rare if you're talking about that one painting that's on my instagram if that's oh, or if you're talking about I don't know what you're talking about, but I did post a painting on my Instagram that was not mine, actually. That was my sister's. Uh, my older sister, she has been doing art for a while, um, but she just started to do some stuff uh, professionally. Like she just got hired to kind of low key, potentially um, do some stuff like, I think for like children's books. I'm actually not even sure if I'm supposed to say that out loud or say that publicly yet, <laughs> but yeah, she drew this sweet Dragonite uh, painting that is on my Instagram. If you guys want to check that out, because it's it was so cool. And yeah, I just Dragonite's one of my favorite favorite Pokemon. A Raichu Reverse Hollow Rare. I'll take that. And a Poltergeist. Okay, we are nearly halfway through of um, the right side of this booster box, and so far only really. Well, I'll put this to the side. Um, only really one hollow, well, I guess two hollow rares, that reverse hollow. Reverse Raichu was a rare, but no ultra rares yet. No hyper rares, so maybe this pack will be the one. Let's see. And there we go, our first ultra rare of the night. Keldo V, let's go. All right, let's leave this bad boy up. I actually, I think it's the first time I've pulled this card. I think. Maybe Celeste pulled this. I, I swear Celeste always pulls like the best cards. I don't know how she does it, but she has the best luck. I think she has pulled more hyper rares and more ultra rares than I have. And I mean, I know technically I'm the one who buys the cards, but somehow like they always end up in her hands. <laughs> uh, I might talk about Celeste a lot because I'm really missing her. I. You know, I, oh, I I do these pack openings a lot to spend time with her. She she enjoys them. I enjoy them. Um, and so, yeah, just Pokemon in general just makes me think of my daughter. But, yeah, okay. I love her, but I'm going to try not to think about her too much. Otherwise, I'm going to be sad during this pack opening. <laughs> Sage and Grookey, hi, how you guys doing? You guys, or you, how are you doing? <laughs> I just saw the name Sage and Grookey, but how are you doing? Hey, that's the hollow or Oh, nice, full art Sable IV, let's go. All right, I have no idea what that's worth, but that's a sweet looking card. Let's go, all right, okay. We got a couple ultra rares in this pack opening so far. With Sword and Shield. Now, just as a reminder, so we are trying to see, it kind of see, you know, today, which set really is the best one from 2020. And so we're going to see how many Ultra Rares can we pull from each set, like which one, uh, which one treats us better. And we're only going to uh, count the Ultra Rares just because we are including Champion's Path in this. In this and obviously Champion's Path um, you get a guaranteed hollow rare or better. And so we're only going to count ultra rares for today. But let's see. We can get some more ultra rares. And a hey, hey, Inteleon hollow. I'll take that. Let's leave this up. Guys, we have so many packs to get through today. <laughs> uh, this is like the fastest I've ever opened up Pokemon cards. Let's go. Especially since my girls are being watched. Um, by grandma and grandpa and my and my sisters, and so um, yeah, I told them that we, that they would only have to watch them for about two hours, and so I'm trying to make sure I keep my word on that. Here we go. And how do you say that? Musha, Musharana, Musharana. I'm not sure. Some of these newer newer cards, newer Pokemon. I'm still not. I'm still learning how to pronounce them. 
you have horrible luck with Sword and Shield. You know, we have we pulled some decent cards from Sword and Shield so far. Uh, well, I should say Celeste really has. <laughs> Which hyper rare? Are you talking about the uh, the rainbow rare or the the shiny one? Because I guess tech oh wait no hyper rare I guess would technically be the rainbow one. That's a sweet card, by the way. We pulled that one, uh, our first ETB, which absolutely blew my mind. Like, I remember we went um, on release day of Champion's Path. Ooh, Ninetales. I'm a fan of Ninetales. Okay, I got to move some of these cards. Move these back here. We have the table completely cleared because there are going to be lots of cards on here by the time we're done. But yeah, on um, Champion's Path release day, we went around for like, I don't even remember, four hours or something like that, uh, looking for Champion's Path. And it was, we did not find anything. Like I was almost like gonna go home. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just check out one last door. And I caught the person, the, the um, it's called the distributor, right as they were stocking up Champion's Path. And so we bought, um, ooh, here we go, Toxic Croak Hollow. Uh, we uh, so yeah, I got a. I think it was one ETB, and then I think a couple pin collections. Uh, but in that ETB that I caught, or that I was able to get that day, like and again, I almost didn't go to that store. We found the hyper rare Charizard in Champions Pass. It was yeah, blew my mind. Marsh. Okay, Musharna, 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 Musharna. Okay, there we go, Musharna. That's how you pronounce that. Thank you. And no, man, you are not late. I was late to do the live stream. And let's see. I'm trying to read you guys' comments because I want to make sure I'm interacting with you guys. Because man, it's even though you might not be here physically, I I just enjoy being able to, uh, I guess, talk to you guys. You know, from my house here in. Very cold in Utah at the moment, which I'm curious. Where are you guys from? Like, you don't have to name like the city or anything, but like, where are you guys from? Like, if you're like from California or like from Australia, like, let me know where you guys are from. I'm curious. But uh, uh, you pulled every full art except the shiny. Oh. The shiny one eludes me as well. Maybe we can pull it today. I would be so thrilled if we pulled that today. And hey, more Pico V, ultra rare. Let's go. How many ultra rares is that? That is, I think, three so far. Three for this box. Yeah. Uh, you're thinking about getting a Grookey tin? I honestly, I. I have not opened any of the Grookey tins or the like uh, Score Bunny, all those like that's like a series. Did I do this wrong? I think I did this wrong. Wrong card. Okay. Uh, so I can't really say if how good they are or not, but oh, but Sage and Grookey pulled one from a Grookey tin. So maybe you should get, a, get one of those tins. Yeah. Sabo and. A store journal, <laughs> stone journal V. <laughs> all right, another ultra rare. I'll, let's see, those are all we've got one full art. Uh, I think three V's now. Man, we need some kind of V Max or hyper rare or gold card, but I guess we're not even halfway through the box yet. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, and guy, okay, I will do after this uh, one more pack. And then I don't know if you guys use these code cards, but I will go ahead and give away some go code cards after we're doing one more pack. But let me know, guys. Do you guys use the code cards? Do any of you guys play the online TCG? And hey, Rilla Boom Reverse Hollow is pretty cool. And a Vic Victini V. That's actually a really cool looking card. That's a sweet looking card. All right, let me sleep these up. Actually, while I sleep these up, I'll start giving away some cards. Here we go. Code card for you guys. Boom. Go. Let me sleep this up. Wow, that's actually a really cool Rillaboom artwork right there. Pretty sweet. As I'm kind of blown away at the moment, to be honest, because I honestly thought there was going to be like one person show up to this live stream. I thought it was like going to be my wife, like upstairs or something. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like 
pretty pumped that you guys are here. A little nervous, again, because again, I, it's just a little different when you're actually have kind of an audience watching you like as you pull cards, like in the moment. Let me throw away some trash because gotta keep this kitchen clean because, you know, I like being married and I don't want to make <laughs> too big of a mess. Hey. And sorry, I try and read some of your comments. Well, I scrolled down way too far. Foxy 50, you pulled a Rainbow Rare VMAX in your first box. That's what's up, man. Or gal, I don't know. That is what's up. Um, let me see. Cali. Oh, whoop. Okay, I know I said don't mention the city, but I'm just kind of curious. What part of Cali? Are you from Killer X Gaming? Because I actually grew up in the Bay Area. And so I, I know the Bay Area fairly well. It's been a few years since I've actually lived there. But hey, Hyperior, a uh, hollow. Guys, I remember when I got back into Pokemon, I saw Hyperior card. I was like, what in the world is this? Because like I was I, I was out of the game, out of Pokemon for, gosh, I don't even remember, like 12 years, <laughs> something like that. No, not 12 years. Yeah, like 12 years. And so... I was only used to, um, you know, Rhyhorn and Rhydon. I was like, what is this Rhyperior? Yeah, so much has changed since I was, you know, an eight-year-old kid, a 10-year-old kid in the 90s, early 2000s when it comes to Pokemon. I mean, so much has changed in general, just even in the world. My gosh. So crazy to think, like, even just, like, all the technology, the fact that I can be opening up Pokemon cards right now and people in California and, and Arkansas and Cali and Las Vegas can be watching. That's just blows my mind. Back to back V's nice. Congrats on 150. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate that. I, like, again, we, so we started, actually, I actually started this channel. Um, let me see. I think, well, actually, almost two years ago. I think it was in February um, of 2019, if I recall correctly. It was actually supposed to be more of a just sharing some thoughts. I had a friend to come over. We were talking, and she was just saying, hey, you should kind of share. And I'm just more quoting her because I, I don't know. I don't really think of myself as anything special or anything like that. Hey, Snorlax Rainbow Revert, or Rainbow, not Rainbow. <laughs> I wish it was a Rainbow one, but... Uh, Reverse Hollow Snorlax Cloister. Um, but yeah she, yeah, she had just, again, just quoting her, she was just saying, hey, you know, I think, you know, you kind of, you have more of a positive energy, positive, uh, a good, I guess, energy about you. I think you should start a YouTube channel. You know, you, you tend to make people, you know, feel good about themselves. And so I took her advice and started a channel and just, you know, was just sharing some thoughts. And it was like super inconsistent I, I would do one one thing a week maybe and then it kind of went to like once a month and then i kind of just didn't really do anything like it, again like maybe once every three months or something um and then i you know got back into pokemon and i was um i had been in, in pokemon actually for a little bit then i saw i saw people doing pack openings like on tiktok and then also on YouTube, I was like, this is a thing? Like, people actually watch this? And I started watching them, too. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And so I started to do... Actually, if you go back to, I think, earlier this year, because I think that's when I actually started, was um, sometime maybe like in April or May. might have been the first time I actually recorded myself uh, opening up Pokemon packs. And I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't even know, like... Half of the cards name. Oh, let's go. Lapras V Max. That's a beautiful card. Oh my gosh. I love this card. The Lapras. Like really anything OG 100, like the original 151. My gosh. I just love. But this is a beautiful card. Lapras looking like a freaking cruise ship or something. Ooh, that's a sweet, sweet card. Uh, what was I even saying? Oh, yeah. Just. Start opening up Pokemon packs again, really inconsistently. It wasn't really until uh, I think September of this year 
um, I opened up a Darkness of Blaze booster box. And um, it was actually kind of funny because my, so my daughter, my youngest daughter, I think was, let's see, she was born in June. So July, August, how old was she? July, August, September. Okay, so she, yeah, she was like three months old. Hey, reverse hollow rare, I'll take that. But yeah, she was three months old. And I was like, man, I gotta like, I gotta open up some more packs. Like I'm, I want to record it on YouTube. On YouTube. Um, and so I literally had her in a wrap. Like you can go back and watch this video. First, first time ever opening up a booster box. Had her in a wrap. She was asleep on me. I was afraid she was gonna wake up and start crying. Uh, but she didn't, she stayed asleep the whole time. We opened up the Darkness of Blaze. Uh, booster box and then after that it was basically like I think we started uh, doing Pokemon videos like maybe two or three times a week and then after like a few weeks Celeste was like hey can I can I do a video with you too and then she started being in more videos and now we do like Pokemon stuff like several times a week I think we tried putting up a video um, five to six times a week they're not always Pokemon pack openings but um, they are, I, I try to keep them Pokemon related. You know, we started a vlog recently, just more as a way to uh, kind of give you guys some behind the scenes uh, looks um, as we, because one of our goals or uh, professionally at least is to open up our own collectible shop you know, where we can sell, um, it's going to be a lot of Pokemon stuff, but also like Yu-Gi-Oh, hey, hey, Lapras V. Here we go. All right, to go with the VMAX. But yeah, to go along, uh, what was I saying? Pokemon. So yeah, a lot of Pokemon stuff. Also like Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um, probably Dragon Ball Super, Star Wars, Marvel, all that good stuff. We want to have an online shop of just a bunch of collectibles. And we're starting to uh, collect some stuff together because we don't just want just brand new stuff, but we want to be able to provide like in five years, be able to provide Darkness of Blaze. In five years, be able to provide Champion's Path and all that good stuff. So yeah, so that's kind of more why we started the vlog was kind of to get behind the scenes, let you guys kind of see the journey. Hey, Reverse Hollow Rare and Marnie Hollow. I'll take that. I actually really like this Marnie Hollow uh, card. But yeah, so yeah, so we do those vlogs, we do pack openings. Um, and uh, what else do we do? Oh, I'll so I will also go on and try to give some, I guess, some Pokemon knowledge, so to speak, because I have a lot of people, especially on Twitter, I get hit up a lot on Twitter and Instagram of people who are trying to get back into Pokemon, either to like sell their cards or they're trying to get back into collecting. Or, you know, I, <laughs> I literally just the other day, uh, someone in the store was asking me to help them. I basically helped this, this lady, um, pick uh, a Christmas present for her son because she had no idea what like what to choose for Pokemon. And so, yeah, I just get a hit up a lot as far as like, you know, Pokemon stuff. And so I'm also trying to provide some of that content as well um, when it uh, comes to our channel. And then something I need to also get better because again, I like I said, I started this channel uh, more to, I guess, help provide some of my thoughts, some perspective, hopefully give you guys some some thoughts to help you guys just be happier and to you know maybe see things in a in a better in a better happier way. I need to do more of those videos too because I've done a few of them. Oh, let's go, let's go! More Pico V Max Hyper Rare. All right, first Hyper Rare of the night of the stream. Let's go! Oh my gosh, very chunky. More Pico V Max. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't, we can't take too long to appreciate the cards because we got so many packs to go through. But that is a sweet, sweet card. Uh, what was I saying though? Guys, it, it's kind of hard. Like if I know some of you um, do uh, pack openings on YouTube, so you know it, it's kind of hard to balance trying to have a conversation and talk with you guys while also opening up packs. And then there's another added layer when I have Celeste. Um, because sometimes I gotta, you know, be the dad and you know let her know that you know where we gotta. Uh, gosh, can't open this pack. 
but yeah, just I have to be sometimes also just be a dad and you know let her know that we got to be nice and all that good stuff. She's she's actually a really nice kid. She's she's such a sweet kid. Just every now and again, you know, gotta you know make sure she's doing what she's doing because she is three. In case you guys didn't know that, she looks a lot older than she actually is. Oh, it's a Volpex. That makes me think of Celeste. I'll set that to the side for her. Uh, okay. All right. Lantern. Gonna move some of these cards. So we got some more room. And let me, guys. Okay. I need to see some of your guys' comments. Um, computer broke. I'm sorry, your computer broke, man. Here's some more codes, though, for anyone who's looking for codes. You're staying for the whole stream? Dude, that, this is going to be a long stream, so uh, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. But hopefully this is uh, entertaining enough that you guys don't get too bored or anything like that. Because, yeah, I never know, like, if I'm just, like, super boring or whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, just trying to see you guys' comments. Oh, dude, you're in the Bay Area? No way. Like, you don't have to tell me, like, obviously this is, this is public, so you don't have to tell me or anything. But, dude, I, I, uh, I lived in, in Concord. I lived in Antioch. Uh, lived in Newark. So we kind of moved around a lot growing up. I think I remember I, I counted one time, but by the time I was I graduated high school, we had moved like 20 times. Like my family was just always moving. But yeah, the Bay Area, I moved all around the Bay. And then yeah, Santa Con Santa Conda Hollow. All right, we got one, two, I think five or six more packs left of Sword and Shield. Then we move on to Rebel Clash. You started your channel about four months ago. I have 80 subs. That's sweet. Remind me. Actually, maybe I'll do this at some point. Sage, you know what? I, I'll, no. Forget what I was saying. Forget me. Forget what I was saying. All right, let's see. Brazilian Hollow, you only got 33 subs, dude. I had I had, I had like 10 subs for like a year. <laughs> You're good, man. You're good. Patience. Poltergeist, Reverse Hollow, and there we go. I okay. Help me pronounce this one as well, because I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Del, this is just Delmi's. Is it just Delmi's V? But hey, ultra rare. That actually might be our last ultra rare of this box. But let's see, because we have four, yeah, no, five more packs left. And uh, let's see if we can get some more ultra rares. Okay, just try and get back to your comments. Ooh, nice. You got a Hidden Fates tin for Christmas. That is sweet. We actually, I don't know if you guys saw that Hidden Fates Christmas video that we did a few days ago, but man, those tins were friggin' sweet. We just kept, we kept pulling uh, like shinies and old, and like several ultra rares, hyper rares. It, it was a sweet opening. Like I've only opened up a little bit of, of Hidden Fates, but my gosh, after that video, I'm like, we need to get our hands on more Hidden Fates. Man. It's just hard though. It's hard to find Hidden Fates right now at, at retail price. Um, the reprint is out, so you there's a potential you could find some in stores right now, but you just never know. People just coming in, scooping all of them up, either to open for themselves or like to keep long term or just try and resell them. But my gosh, is that a, a oh, oh, that is something. Regirock V Ultra Rare. Okay, I will take it. I will definitely take it. Let's go. Gosh, we've got quite a few V cards in this box. Okay, last three packs, and then we will see how good Sword and Shield base was to us. But yeah, have you guys, have any of you guys been able to find the Hidden Fates reprint in stores? 
because they should be out now. You should be able to, at least theoretically, you should be able to find some in stores at GameStop or Walmart or, you know, wherever. Uh, let's see. Sweet pull. Thanks, man. Uh, you got some Viv Voltage packs, one Hidden Fates pack, and some Champions pack. Got like 20 packs and more of Champions pack. Sweet. We're going to open up a lot of Champions pack today. <laughs> Probably the most we've ever opened up in a single video. Because ironically, you know, Champions Path has been hard to find for a lot of people, but I I like find it almost every time I go to the store. I don't know what it what it is. Just got good luck or something. Because it's like almost always in stores when I happen to be there. And <laughs> more Pico V. Is that our second more Pico V? We got two, yeah. Two more Pico V's in one box. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Would have preferred a little more variety, but man, man, this is a lot of a lot of ultra rares in this box. My gosh. Okay, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic for Sword and Shield base? That is the question. And here we go. Kingler potion. Let's go. I don't think we're going to get anything good. That is my guess, because I think we rake, yeah. Rillaboom, non-hollow. Sweet looking artwork, but non-hollow. Okay, real quick, we got to check out how many ultra rares from this box. Okay, let's see, one, two. Let's do a quick recap before we get into Rebel Clash. All right. Wow, we actually, yeah, we got quite a few. We, all right, we got one, oh, that's a full art. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine V cards, one V Max, and a more Pico V Max hyper rare. All right, so 11 ultra rares or better from Sword and Shield Base. We'll keep you guys right there. And now let us move on to Rebel Clash. And I'm gonna try going through these packs even faster because we've already been doing this for half an hour and we got so many more packs to go through. Nice, and uh, again, try and keep up with your guys' comments. All right, here we go, Rebel Clash. I know some people call it Rebel Trash, but I actually think Rebel Clash is better than most people like say it is. I, I We pulled some good stuff from Rebel Clash. I think it has some cool cards, especially that Nine Tails full art is pretty cool. Real quick, here's some Sword and Shield um, codes for you guys. And now let's move on to Rebel Clash. And oh yeah, it's totally hard to read the chat while opening up Pokemon cards. It is not an easy task. <laughs> oh yeah, see, yeah, you thought she was five. Yeah, see, most people think she's like five or five or four. Some people, I think, see, some people thought she was six. She's just actually pretty much like. I guess mature for her age, like pretty uh, on top of things. Um, also, she just she just is is she's tall. She's big. I think that's probably from my genes because my wife is like five five three. I think is how tall my wife is. And I'm actually so I'm Latino, and so and my mom is five foot or five one. She's pretty short as well. And we I got some pretty short cousins, but. Um, I do have some Basque, if you guys know what that what that is. Some Basque in the game. Apparently, they're pretty tall. And so I'm tall. I'm like 6'2". I'm the tallest one in my family. And apparently, Celeste got those genes as well because she's pretty tall for her age. And, yeah, everyone always thinks she's a lot older than she is. Plus, she's, like, super friendly. Like, 
Um, like anytime we're out and about, she's pretty much talking to people. Um, she, when she goes outside, like even just we're going to check the mail, she's waving to people saying hi. <laughs> like <laughs> she has a pretty good vocabulary too for a three year old. So yeah, everyone always thinks she's older. All right, again, try and keep up with your comments. And if I have too many packs to open, yeah. <laughs> Reverse hollow electrive. Elect to elect arrive. Elect to no, I'm totally saying that wrong. Elect elect fury. Wow. Okay, guys, I, I don't know how to say that. I need to work on my pronunciation skills on some of these newer Pokemon. All right. Okay. I'm going to move a few things because it's starting to get, it's a race starting to get crowded on this table. All right. Sword and Shield, you guys go over there. Rebel Clash, right here. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I was looking at Pokemon packs. <laughs> okay. But, guys, we're, we're going to have to do some more like giveaways because, yeah, I would love to share some of my packs with you guys see what you guys get so definitely in the near future we're going to be doing something you know, in fact I, I was going to have this be like a total secret but just so you guys know i guess you guys will get the uh the most i guess the most up-to-date intel so to speak is this reverse hollow rare nope and a galarian rune runerigus but something i wanted to start doing to basically i guess reward the people who actually watch our videos like who are who are like there for the whole thing is start doing secret giveaways and so they probably wouldn't be anything like anything like a, a whole you know box like a like a, a v box or anything like that probably be like you know one booster pack or maybe we'll do more i don't know or like two booster packs something something like that but just putting like a random like secret giveaway in the middle of a video or like towards the, towards the end of a video and saying, yo, this is a secret giveaway. Like, we don't announce it anywhere. Like, we, we're not going to announce it on our social media or anything like that. Hey, Galarian Weezing. Guys, this, I honestly love this card. Just because Galarian Weezing is just such, it just looks like such a baller. Like, with his top hat, he has like a, a must, or yeah, like a mustache. It's <laughs> honestly one of my favorite cards in um, Rebel Clash. But yeah, secret giveaways. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they they're not announced. Uh, they they'd be put like at the end, like towards the end of a video, and like I just pop in all of a sudden, like hey, you know, this is a secret giveaway for I don't know, like two vivid voltage packs. Um, don't tell anyone about it, and then having like a, a code word to comment so that I know that you guys saw it, and then picking someone randomly, um, like in a, in a future video, and being like, yo, this person won the secret giveaway. Hey, there we go. Nine Tails V. Let's go. First ultra rare Rebel Clash. Man, I love the Nine Tails cards in this uh, in this set. I think they're so sweet. Hmm. I will need to stop for some water every now and again. Not just because I'm talking a lot, but also, like I mentioned earlier, I do have this sore in my mouth. That I'm actually surprised that it's not bothering me more, um, but it hurts more when I uh, when I'm like my mouth is getting dry. So I gotta make sure that stay nice and hydrated. I even brought like the whole uh, like pitcher of water right here so I can refill my mug if I need to. Right? Yeah, guys. I don't know what it is, and again, I don't know if it's like TMI, but hey. But like anytime I bite my mouth by accident, or not that I bite myself, not that I bite myself on purpose or anything, but <laughs> anytime I bite my mouth, like it just, it 99% of the time, it turns into a canker sore. And so like, it, I don't know what it is about my like genes or what it, my health, I don't know, like if that's an indication of something, but like they almost always turn to a canker sore and then like, I just have a hard time, depending on where it is, either smiling or talking or like eating tasty food. And hey, double V, not super excited about that just cause I have plenty of double V promo cards. 
<laughs> but hey, it's an ultra rare. We will take it. All right. This is super entertaining. Oh, I, I'm glad to hear it because <laughs> I don't know if I'm that entertaining of a person, but thank you. And yes, that is a lot of moving. And sorry, I'm really, I'm really behind on your guys' comments, but I'm trying to keep up. I'm gonna uh, actually look back on this real quick. You want to do a pack? No, let's do a pack battle, Sage and Grookey. I'm totally down for that. I am totally down for that. Celeste and I will kick your butt. <laughs> Mostly because Celeste just pulls so many good cards. Yeah, and if anyone else is down for a pack battle, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm totally down. If you guys are on Instagram, hit me up and we'll get that coordinated. All right, can only... You can only find Hidden Face for $13 a pack. Yeah, that's kind of market price right now. It's like 10 to 10 to 13-ish dollars. Yeah, it's Hidden Fates is super popular. Like it's as oh, that that is a reverse hollow rare and whoa, Toxtricity V Max. I I actually love this card. Like, there's a couple reasons for it. One, it's just a it's just some sweet artwork, but also it was my very first V Max like ever pulling. Um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? The first V Max ever pulled was a Toxtricity V Max. And so I love this card. I actually sold the one that I pulled. And I was kind of sad about that. So I'm actually really pumped that I pulled this because I just might keep that for myself, my own personal collection. I uh, found ETB's car shop and they're reselling for 30. Yeah, or for 130, excuse me. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah. The market price for Hidden Fates ETBs is like 120, 130. So even I would not be surprised if even your card shops, local card shops, are selling them for like 90, 100, 120. Because yeah, I had someone who actually um, kind of locally who has pretty good prices. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Scyther. I know that's a common card, but I love Scyther. So we're going to set this to the side. And App Appleton Hollow. Let's go. Um, but yeah, even someone who I know who has good prices on their on their stuff, like they were even selling ETBs for like $95, which is a pretty good price for a hidden face ETB. But yeah, I missed out on it. Did not have the funds to buy that before they were all sold out. Because yeah, it's Pokemon is not a cheap hobby to be in. <laughs> I will tell you that. Scyther, we're like setting aside all the Scythers, at least those two. And reverse hollow and all creamy. Okay, got to set these to the side. Uh, Troll and Toad, yeah, Troll and Toad, they they tend to have um, mark, they, they, they're pretty much market price. And so yeah, 13 bucks for a Hidden Fates pack is about average. Oh gosh, sorry, totally lost this. So I try to see your comments again, because again, I'm way behind on your comments. First good pull, first good pull you got from Roll Clash was Rainbow Rare. Oh, Toxtricity V Max, that's sweet. That is very sweet. Yeah, just some kids have super good vocabulary. I don't like some kids. I could just pick it up very quickly. I'm going to go through some comments real quick. I don't remember what would be smart. Oh yeah, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Actually, is not my wife. Just so you guys know, that's actually my that's actually my sister. <laughs> my wife, is, her name is actually Bethany. So, <laughs> yeah. Same last name, but yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm just trying to see, try and get back. Yeah, no worries. You don't have Instagram. We can still coordinate something. And all right. 
Oh, well, that's a sweet Nine Tails artwork. Sorry, I was trying to get through all your comments. My gosh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm totally going to. I'm totally going to miss some of your comments. I apologize, guys. I'm trying to keep up, but you guys are commenting a lot, which is sweet. I'm not complaining at all. But I apologize if I don't get to some of your comments. Wish there were stores that sell Pokemon cards near my house. Yeah. Ooh, that's a reverse hollow rare. And all right, let's leave this bad boy up. Like, do you not have like a Target or Walmart near you? Um, other stores that sell them that you can normally find them at are Best Buy, GameStop, um, let's see, Barnes and Nobles. Where else? Where else have you guys found Pokemon cards? I found Pokemon cards at uh, Burlington. Uh, nothing too like um, too exciting, but you can find them in Burlington sometimes. I'm trying to think where else have I found them. Well, yeah, let's let's help a brother out. Like where else have I found? Oh, Sanaconda V full art. That is wow. That's a sweet card. Like it has that like that green tint. That is a really sweet card. Oh my gosh. Okay, is that our, okay, that's another ultra rare. We gotta move quickly. Otherwise this live stream is gonna be like four hours long. And while I wouldn't mind hanging out with you guys for four hours, I need to make sure I pick up my kids <laughs> before then. Yeah, let me see real quick. Hey, cool Squirtle Gaming. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, sold out. It's sold out. I saw it. I was like, oh, do I have the money for it? And I didn't. I was like, okay, I'll come back tomorrow. I think I'll have the money tomorrow. And I came back and completely sold out. I should have known. So, good. My wife is here. My actual wife is here. <laughs> they thought You're Kathleen. Actual. They thought Kathleen was my wife because she hopped in and it said Kathleen Balanzapaki. Mm -hmm. And so some people are like, "Hi, hi, like Lily's wife. Like that's not my wife. That's my sister." <laughs> Just a little. Hey, like, Larian Corsula Hollow. Let's leave it up. Okay, nearly halfway done with this box and pulled some sweet cards. We do need some kind of hyper rare or gold. Guys, I'm trying to remember. It is is the gold Rillaboom, is that in Rebel Clash? I don't remember which set it's in. Oh, that's right. Dollar General does have uh, Pokemon cards. Family Dollar. Do oh, yeah, Dollar Tree, you can't, you can't find those uh, three-pack um, booster packs. Oops. All right. All right, I got to clean up some trash real quick. Oh, Darkness Ablaze? Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I couldn't remember. What? So what gold cards are in Rebel Clash? I know there are some gold cards. I just don't remember what they are. Uh, there's a Walgreens next to my house that used to sell cards. Now they sell only Uno cards. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Ah, gosh. Where else have I found Pokemon cards? I can't remember. Electrode and Obama Snow. Are you going to join me at some point? Okay. We're like nine halfway done, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, I need your help to get through more packs faster. Otherwise, we're not getting back our girls until like midnight. Until 2021. Until 2021. <laughs> Guys, I have my actual wife here. Kathleen is not my wife. <laughs> this is Bethany. You want to say hi? Oh, she really like. Yeah, do I move the screen or camera? I guess. If you want to be in, do you not want to be in right now? I, I'm fine. Okay. Hello. Arcanine Reverse Hollow Sweet card and a Hollow Rare Dur 
Dura, oh man, I'm, I'm not even going to try saying that. Dura, Duralodon, Duralodon, yeah, there we go. See, that's a it's sweet like, Arcanine card. See that, it's like- Is that uh, Growlithe? Yeah, it's what Growlithe evolves into. All right. Hey, do you want to help me? Yeah, when do you want All to right. help me? All right, here we go, let's go. I just put lotion on my hands. Uh, just like, should I wash them? Yeah, I don't gain lotion okay. on my cards. <laughs> Especially if something could potentially be good to grade. It goes from like a PSA 10 to a PSA 8 because <laughs> of lotion marks. Okay, so yeah, my wife is going to join me for some pack opening, for opening some packs. Which, this is, uh, as a Pokemon enthusiast, there are fewer things more attractive than having your spouse be like, you want to open up some Pokemon cards? <laughs> I guess there's few things that make me happier than opening Pokemon. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Presence. Your presence makes me super happy. That's why I like opening a Pokemon card with you. Oh, there we go. Inteleon. Is that VMAX? Yes. VMAX. Pull. Let's go. Okay. Celeste actually pulled the hyper rare version of this card from a dollar pack. From a freaking dollar store pack. Again, she has all the luck in the world. This thing. Sure, you can do that. I'm just been throwing them down here. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, I just I'll do like code blitzes, so to speak. Okay. So, then... so four cards. Yeah. Here we go. All right. And I'm just going as fast as okay. I can. So we got lots of packs to go through. <laughs> really bad at this right now. It's because you put lotion on your hands. <laughs> You're all slipping. You're off my game. <laughs> Here we go. Just watch what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and that uh, yeah, rare. You just put them right here. Okay. Just piling them all up. Our table's going to be full of cards by the end of this. Okay. Is that just right? taking these? Yeah, here I'll pass you a few. Okay, there you go. How many booster boxes left? Dude, we're in Rebel Clash. <laughs> so we still got uh, Darkness of Blaze. And then all of, we're doing um, 36 packs of Champion's Path, Reverse Hollow Rare, and and then we're doing Vivid Voltage. So we got quite a few to go through. I think once we get through, uh, go for it. Okay. They're upside down. They're upside down. <laughs> They're upside down. <laughs> I'll probably pay attention to what I'm doing. One day we will have a more professional setup so it isn't so awkward to pull to open the. Oh, what you got? Something, something Ooh, sparkly. Inteleon V full art. That is a beautiful it's like card. A gecko. That is a very beautiful card. Oh my gosh. Very nice pull. See, I told you my wife was going to pull good cards. I was telling them earlier you're going to pull something good. All right, back to mine. Coughing. First hollow and all right, Zassian. Yeah, dude, we're doing all, all the sets today. All right, let me move my chair a little bit. Okay. Did I talk to that? And what is that? Ooh, that's a cool card. Okay, Galarian Surf Fetched Hollow. We will sleeve that up. Not ultra rare, but still a cool card. That pile is starting to slide. Yeah, we gotta move this pile. Let's put that right there. How many czars do I predict? Gosh. Have you gotten any? No, well, none of these sets so far have any Charizards in them. Oh, gotcha. I, I'm, I'm gonna say like, 
kind of like 10. No, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I'll be happy with one Zard. But I think I think there's a good ooh. Very nice drag dragapult V. All right. See, she's pulling all the ultra rares now. <laughs> um, yes. all my packs. Go ahead, grab more. But here we go. Now we're flying through the packs. Looks <laughs> like I'm my wife. You my, need me. I do need you. Every day I need you. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, with two Zards. Luxray Hollow. I'm going to say two Zards. Between Darkness of Blaze and Champion's Path, we're going to do two Zards, is what I'm, I'm going to guess. Oh, but also Vivid Voltage has Zards. <sighs> Maybe three. Actually, I think you might be right. We might be doing three. I think we're doing th I'm going to say three. I'm going to guess three. Ooh, Trev, how do you say that? Trevenant. Trevenant. Tre 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 that is someone who I would not want to run into <laughs> walking through the woods. <laughs> okay, uh, you have two packs left. I got two packs. Let's okay. go. By the way, I really love my wife. She's awesome. She's amazing. We've been married for, it'll be six years in 2021. I know it's kind of weird because it's like this way is that way. <laughs> I still can't hang on it. He's got to do more tackle moves with me, then he'll get a hang of it. Hang on, hang, hang, okay, hang on. Hang of it. it. Uh, Digger B. <laughs> not pretty. All right, this is my last pack of Rebel Clash. Can we get some last pack magic for myself? My wife has one more pack. Wait, maybe we should do a battle between Oh, you want to do a pack battle? Okay. If I can get it. Let's see which one has the better pack. The last pack magic. I don't know. I don't. I'm not feeling too confident right now. Let's see. It. All right. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a reverse hollow and Intellion V. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I wasn't feeling it. Well, you got a wish cash. Wish cash. Wish cash. Wish cash. All right, that what and guys, that's a rebel clash. That is a rebel clash. Real quick, let's uh sorry, I probably shouldn't smash like that. <laughs> All right, what did we get? Wait a second. Hold the phone. We did not get a single hyper rare or gold card in this box. Okay, I'm calling it rebel clash is rebel trash. I'm I'm just oh. kidding. I'm just kidding. But oh my gosh, we didn't get a single hyper rare or a gold card. What the heck? But we did get one, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ultra rares from Rebel Clash. So definitely Sword and Shield is winning so far. Uh, let's make some room for because of Volpex. I was like, oh Celeste. Uh -huh. Trash. Okay. Let's move. And here's Where are you putting your trash just everywhere? Uh we got a bag that it's spilling. <laughs> yep, in case I need to rehydrate myself. <laughs> <laughs> you stick your head underneath it? No, I have my I have my mug right there. <laughs> Here you guys go. The mug, my mug's right there. My wife just thinks I'm weird. <laughs> the whole water filter right there. Yeah, because I I I I have to wash out my water bottle. And I haven't done I haven't done that yet. And so my mug is just the only thing I'm using right now. You guys go. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hopefully you guys are using some of these. And last one, boom. This last one that we're giving away. Because we do keep some of these to sell. Okay, what are we doing? Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze, I love Darkness Ablaze. Um, but yeah, we do sell some of the code cards because you know we, st we still need to make a little money so we can actually buy more Pokemon cards. You do? I didn't even know you did one. Yeah. Oh. That's why we only give away like maybe half the codes. All right, darkness ablaze. I need to channel all the energy to summon Zard. Charizard. There we go. Maybe we can do something funky like Yu-Gi-Oh! 
and just be like, I sacrifice my, I don't even know, gla my Galarian Surfetched and Luxray to summon Charizard V Max. But it doesn't work that way. Guys, I've been watching Yu Gi Oh lately. <laughs> and, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, my wife doesn't know how she feels about that. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. I've just been like reliving my childhood lately, and it is awesome. Yu-Gi-Oh! The, fu the funny thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! that I realized rewatching it as an adult is that literally, like literally half of the episode is just trash talk. Like, <laughs> like Yu-Gi or Seto or Joey or whoever is just like, like Yu-Gi, like, you'll never beat me. You know you you don't have the cards to beat me. Watch this move. Ooh, Lugia! I know that's not like a anything super special, but I love Lugia, so we're putting this to the side. Oh yeah, just trash talk. It's like half the episode. It's kind of hilarious. Ooh, that is a reverse hollow rare, so we will sleeve that up. And then the duels take like uh, five episodes. To get through. <laughs> no, get it's okay, love. It's okay. Oh, you can do it. Yeah, I'm not trained for this. You have mama strength. You gave birth to two children. Ooh, Blaziken. Hollow rare. Okay, we'll sleep those up in a sec. Okay. <laughs> All right, I can feel my kinker sword now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. I need to stop biting myself. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I don't know how I do that. My my wife, again, who's we've been married for nearly six years, or coming up on six years. There you go. I'm upside down. I'm ups <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch me. Stop me with my two guys. <laughs> but yeah, she knows that I, I tend to bite myself, and I just don't know why. Skitty. Skitty. <laughs> and here we go. All right. Yeah, we're flying through these so much faster than I'm always here. Yeah, I don't know if you got other things to do or that you want to do, but you have to at least stay for. I mean, laundry. <laughs> champion staff. Okay, well, I guess the laundry. This is a lot more interesting. <laughs> we don't need to do laundry. We don't need clean clothes. All right, yeah, Charizard time. Every anime is like 75% fillers. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. And, oh, there we go. Crobat V, let's go. That is one of the better cards to pull from this set. Um, mostly because of how playable it is for the TCG. So I think that is like a, an 11 or $12 card, something like that. All right, we're going to put the you right here. I'm going to sleeve these guys up. You have it the right way, by the way. I know. Okay. I took this time. <laughs> oh, guys, I can't, like, really smile as much as I want to because of that dang sore. Ooh, that's a hollow rare. As Goose likes to say. Is that a skeleton? Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's a no. dude flying on it. <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> I thought that was a skeleton. It's a guy flying on this. Oh, did you want this one? Uh, no, that's just a regular reverse hollow. But yeah, so last one she gets just any kind of reverse hollow. She calls it a shiny rare. <laughs> she like my shiny rare. So <laughs> no, they're not upset. <laughs> I'm like stressed about it. Oh gosh, don't make me laugh. I'm, like hurting my mouth. <laughs> She's gonna have to do the rest of the live stream like this. <laughs> Oh, seriously, I've been making so many weird faces. Ooh, Tyranitar. Ooh, two, two rares, two hollow rares. Wow, okay, I'm going to stop my card real quick because that is a sweet Tyranitar artwork. I don't think I've seen that one yet. I don't think we pulled that. We will definitely sleep that bad boy up in a sec. Oh, my gosh, I just realized I have something good. How good is it? I don't know. And Eternatus VMAX. All right, I will take that. Let's sleeve these cards up. Oh, 
All right. You pulled a rainbow rare while doing a pack battle? Okay, now I'm kind of scared to do a pack battle against you. <laughs> Yeah, that really stings right now. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Got to keep going. We are not stopping just because of little pain. We are not stopping. All right. Zard, where are you? I'm going to guess. I'm going to call it right now. We're pulling a Charizard from this one. I'm calling it. I can feel it. I, I, don't, I don't feel it. And, oh, not a Charizard, but a Scent of Scorch V. I felt some kind of fire, some heat coming from this. Uh, I turned this very playable. That's good to know. I don't play the TCG, and so I I really don't know too much about it. Just more what I hear on the streets, so to speak. Hey, hey, there we go. Uh, Rhyperior V, let's go. My wife, is that the first type of ultra rare you've pulled today? Or for Darkness of Blaze? Yeah, I don't know. I don't all right. Know. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, uh, four cards. My wife is going to pull the Zard. Okay, I, I, see, how, I see how it is. Cool Squirtle Gaming, I see you. But you're probably right. <laughs> and... Tapu Coco Hollow. What generation is Tapu Coco from? Any, do you guys know? Right. Quite a bizarre. Nope. And Ampharos. I like Ampharos. Just it's such a cute. chill. Looks such like a, a chill. Pool. Pikachu kangaroo. A Pikachu kangaroo? <laughs> you heard it here first. And borrows the Pikachu kangaroo. Actually, it kind of looks like a Pikachu kangaroo. Right? <laughs> what? Did you mean? Yeah, it's cute. All right. Here we go. No, wiggly tough. Yeah, dude, you're totally right. I. I've been trying to learn a TCG a little more. Just need to put more more time into it. Hey, oh, that's the last one. Hollow Rare, Glissopod. All right. Oh my gosh, our table's getting so full of cards. <laughs> Let's take a picture after this. Tapu, our seventh gen, Sun and Moon. Good to know. Thanks for the info. One of these days, I'm going to play through all of the Pokemon games that I have. Well, all of them, just period. But especially to catch up on the ones that I have not played. Because I've only played up to um, Pokemon Crystal. And a lot has changed since then. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was around for like third gen, but I didn't have a... Like a Game Boy, was it Game Boy Advance or Game Boy? What came after Game Boy Advance? No, it was Game Boy, yeah, Game Boy Advance. It was third gen games was Game Boy Advanced, and yeah, I didn't have a Game Boy Advanced, and so I did not get to play any of those games. And all right, <laughs> Vanillax, Vanilla, Van Vanillax, yeah. Or Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins? That's my own personal nickname. Oh, okay. Look, oh, hey, nice. Nice. I that was my last deck. All right, some more. And, oh, yeah, and guys, we will get you some codes in a sec. We just, we're just flying through these packs now. Now that I have the power of my wife. The good luck of my wife. Oh, yeah. Although I don't know how good luck you are, because that ooh, wow. <laughs> Santa Scorch V Max. There we go. Because I mean, you 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 came into our Rebel Clash box, and there wasn't even a hyper rare in there. 
So, <laughs> just no. saying. Yeah, never played Emerald. I I bought a Game Boy last year, last year, and, and replayed. Um, that's a reverse Hello Rare. All right, we'll sneak that up. But yeah, and we played uh, Pokemon Blue, and then I played Red for the first time. Um, and then played Silver and Gold. But yeah, that's it. Is that, no, it's not rare, but Devil. There's so much I got to catch up on still. Hi, Resilient Hollow, 167. How you doing? <laughs> I'm like super surprised. We've been staying at about seven. Ooh, Toxicity Hollow. We've been having about, you know, six, seven, eight people watching the whole time. So I appreciate you guys. Like I said earlier, I thought, you know, there was going to be like one person. It was going to be, be me. Yeah, it was going to be you upstairs. And like pretending to be someone else, like, oh, good pull. <laughs> You're so handsome. Are you married? I thought about it, not gonna lie. <laughs> now, again, if I'm making weird faces, yeah, you know why. Happy New Year, man. Take care. Thanks for joining. Hey, right, Blaziken Reverse Hollow. Okay. Ducklet. Ducklet. Uh, no. <laughs> Man, I feel like I'm burning calories opening Pokemon cards. This one's almost blue. Go. Hey, Militic Reverse Hollow and a Militic Hollow. <laughs> All right. We'll get both versions. Oh, chick. Jigglypuffs, less love Jigglypuff. <laughs> and, oh, I think that actually might have been something good. Oh, really? Well, at least, is that Hollow Rare? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Hollow Rare, revert, rever well, Reverse Hollow Rare. All right. We are coming down to the wire for Dark as a Blaze. I'll stick these guys up in a sec. And still no Zard. Come on, we got pull charge. Wow, it's almost four. Almost four? Yeah. <laughs> so many packs to go through. Did you tell them what time we're going to be back? I did not actually give them a, an official time. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they're not going to kick out my our girls. So. <laughs> <laughs> Angie A. Hi, how you doing? Is that, oh, that is the rest. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Arctovish. You know, I just realized, I'm pretty sure I was going to also grab my phone and go live on Instagram for maybe like a few minutes, but I totally forgot. Maybe we'll still do, still do that. Supposedly, we are also streaming to Facebook. Oh. But uh, uh, there has not been any... Ooh, Eternatus V, let's go. There has not been anyone at least commenting from Facebook, so that's, I mean, that's totally fine. I don't know if anyone was going to or not. Maybe it's not even working. I don't know. Maybe you can open up packs and I'll check this out real quick. I can oh. find my phone. Oh. I, good to know, man, uh, that Amanda's Berry, that we can make your day. I'm glad to hear that. I mean, yeah, some people... Unfortunately, you know, some people, they're just, uh, well, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Hi, Amanda, Amanda Berry, one, two, three. But yeah, unfortunately, some people, they just, uh, when they're not secure in themselves, you know, they, they lash out at other people. That's just the way it goes, unfortunately. 
like anyone. Oh, last pack. Okay, last yeah. two packs. Anyone who tries to bring down bring down other people is just showing their own insecurity. Uh, sleep these up. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh, open up this pack. Guys, there has to be a Charizard in here. There has to be a Charizard in here. <laughs> or have we... No gold card or hyper rare. Okay, there has to be a hyper rare in one of these two packs. Okay, come on. Hyper rare. Or at least a Charizard. Give me the Charizard VMAX. Otherwise, this is not going to be that great of a box. What? Okay, we got a full art, Piers, which is cool, and a hollow rare Corviknight. Oh, all right. But is that, that is two boxes without any hyper rares or gold cards. I, I mean, I guess it's not necessarily guaranteed, but. They normally, you normally do get at least one hyper rare. Gosh, I can't even grab these cards in a box. Okay, but let's do a quick recap. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ultra rares in this box. Oh my gosh, Darkness of Blaze is losing to Rebel Clash. How does that even happen? All right, All right well, next. let's move some of these and make room. We're nice. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, well, you know, we. I just think being kind to others, being nice, I mean, it's just, it's a happy way to live. I don't see any point in trying to be mean to other people. All right, got to sleep this up. Uh, no. So only if, see, it has a star. Uh -huh. That's it. Only, we only sleep them rares. Okay. And then here you guys go. Here is. Real quick, some code cards. Killer X Gaming, welcome back. Thank you. Let's go. All right. I think I need my own trash bag. You need your own trash bag? You want to grab a trash bag? And I will start. Let's see. That was, oh, that was. Sword and, or that was a uh, darkness of blaze. Oh, we're moving on to, to champions path now. Oh my gosh. All three of them? What? All three. all three of those, yeah, because we have to do the equivalent of a booster box, which is 36 packs. 36 packs. Oh my gosh. Right. Oh, we have this one too. Hold on. Yeah, that one's going to be last. Okay, hold up, guys. Okay, see you, Amanda Berry. Uh, we are, so I'm just checking a couple things real quick. Sorry, some technical stuff. And uh, yeah, I think we just might go live on IG as well real quick for a bit, maybe invite them over to YouTube. Except for I forgot how to go live. <laughs> Wait, no, here we go. Let's see. I think I might put that right there. Gotcha. You are now live. Okay. Yeah, so we're moving on to Darkness of Blaze. So we do, again, we're doing a, the equivalent of a booster box. So we got six loose packs, and we got to open up these three ETBs. Do you want, I think actually one of these is a race open it, open up. Do you want to open that up? Um, I think it might be that one, actually. I can get this. Now, again, for this, we are only going to be including the ultra rare pulls. We're not going to be including the, the promo card um, as part of that count. Right, here we go. Uh, we have one of these oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet card. I honestly think that's just so, such a sweet promo. Put that to the side. There you guys go. 
even though they came with it. Yeah, see the ETVs, they come with uh, more than just cards. They basically, they're good for like, if you're playing the TCG, but they come with dice, they come with uh, like coin stuff. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Very nice Charizard V promo. Okay, and then let me get this last one. Um, those are our sleeves. Okay, and if you're, you're on IG, here's my wife. Say hi. Hello. But yeah, guys, if you're on IG, we will be live on, on IG for a little bit, but we have been live on YouTube um, for an hour and 20 minutes, <laughs> opening up every single set um, from 2020. We're getting into Champion's Path. Why is this going to be back to Oh, so these are just energy cards. Again, yeah, ETBs are good for, again, if you're uh, playing the TCG because you got your energy cards, you know, you got sleeves, you got dice, everything that you basically would need to start playing. Okay. And... All right. Got oh, 36 packs of Darkness of Blaze, or not Darkness of Blaze, of Champion's Path. Oh, gotta get this promo card out. So something funny, so these ones have been fine, but something funny about these promo cards, is that I have seen several people say that, and, and show that they've gotten French versions of this promo card, like in the United States. I don't know how that happens, but something happened at the factory where people were putting in French cards or something. And also as a side note, guys, so these, these uh, packs, they came straight from, uh, what's it called? The Pokemon Center. And I know a lot of people have been complaining about, hey, Ch my Champion's Path stuff was resealed. I don't think that's the case. I think they just have poor quality control on some of these because if you can tell, like on here, like it looks like it was glued, but I mean, they came straight from the Pokemon Center. I don't, I don't know how people would reseal them. Like it's one thing if you're buying them off of like some random dude. But uh, yeah, I just I just think the quality control on Champions Path has just been horrible when it comes to the packs. All right, but let's get into some Champions Path. We did not pull a Charizard in Darkness of Blaze, and so let's see if we can get a Charizard, some Charizard luck with Champions Path. And no thing in the first pack. Go, what you get? Alteria. Okay. So, Champions Path, you are guaranteed a hollow or better. Yo, we got Omash in the building. Omash, guys, if you do not follow Omash on YouTube, on Instagram, on anywhere that he's at, you guys are making a big mistake because he is one of the coolest PokeTubers in the world. And I'm calling it right now. So long as that's what you want to do, brother. So long as that's what, what you want to do, I'm totally calling it. Omash will be at a million subscribers one day. Whether that's in five years, in 10 years, I'm calling it right now. And then I'm going to replay this video clip in 10 years and be like, yeah, I told you all. But yeah, we've been going now for nearly an hour and a half. And oh, here we go. First ultra rare of Champion's Path, Al Creamy V. So cute. <laughs> and we got sets. Okay, you can keep opening up packs. I gotta move some of these so we have room. <laughs> guys, you guys should like see our. Actually, I can show you guys on Instagram. But yeah, our table is getting kind of nuts right now. Where we are running out of room. Incineroar? Ooh, Incineroar V. Okay, guys. Fun fact of the day when it comes to Incineroar V. So I sold a few cards on eBay uh, last week or two weeks ago. Um, one of them contained a lot that had an Incineroar V. And for some reason, I misplaced it. And I was like, oh my gosh, where'd this go? I mean, it wasn't like a huge sale or anything, but still I want to make sure I provide good service and everything. And so I ended up going, like having to drive for 20 minutes to buy an Incineroar 
V card off of someone else. And, and then I kid you not, the same day after I bought the card, I found the card, the, the, the original Incineroar card. Oh my gosh. So lesson of the day is stay organized, my friends. Stay yeah. organized. If you've seen my vlog, you know that downstairs is kind of messy. Although, guys, I will do it, I will totally do an update on the next vlog. It is so much, isn't it so much cleaner? It is. It, it is, is so much cleaner. Oh, no way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We just pulled Charizard VMAX Hyper Rare. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. There we go. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my beauty. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, sweet. No, oh, my gosh. That is awesome. <laughs> you totally were not expecting I, I was totally just looking at you and <laughs> not even paying attention. Oh, my gosh. No freaking way. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Ooh. All right. That's it. We're ending the video right there. <laughs> oh, man. See, this is, this is why I brought the water right here so I can do this. Okay. See? Well, stop judging. Oh my gosh, guys. I. <sighs> oh my gosh. You need a moment there? Ah. It's like. Man, I wish Celeste was here. That's the only thing. I wish Celeste was here. Aww. Ah. Joaquin with Pokemon, what's up, man? How you doing on Instagram? Kenny, what's up? Kenny on Instagram, what's up, man? How you doing? Kenny is a very old friend back from like... Oh, dude, Kenny, okay. See, I can do this. I'm, I'm in control of this now. Kenny, this is my wife. Say what's up. What's up? Oh, I'll talk to you. Oh, well, yeah, Kenny... Gosh, we go back to like uh did I do this right? We go back to um uh what's that fourth grade, man? Fourth grade. Long time. All right, reverse hollow rare and hollow rare. Okay, uh, I need okay, I need to get back to some of these comments on YouTube. Uh yo, 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 yo. I'm back. Okay. Any big pulls? Oh my that you you just saw the biggest pull. <laughs> you just you just totally saw the biggest like, pull. It happened as soon as he showed up. Who is Omash? How do you guys not know who Omash is? Okay, I'm putting this up on YouTube. Here. Boom. Look at that. Go follow Omash on YouTube. He is such a cool guy. He is like honestly one of the coolest PokeTubers you will meet. Like, no joke. And then, oh, totally can't see our pulls anymore. Okay, boom. Omash is, I'm the only reason why you pull anything good now. <laughs> Dude, that, that, that hidden fates, those hidden fates packs that you got, I'm not even going to lie. I'm like, oh my gosh, I should have just kept them. <laughs> but no, I'm so pumped that you pulled those. Like, it, it blows my mind that all those were just sitting on our, like, literally some of those boxes were sitting on our shelves. I think said September. And so the fact that you pulled those, like, because um, those, some of those boxes, again, like, were ones that I found on Champions Path release day. And man, it's just crazy. Well, thanks, Kenny. I appreciate you you stopping by, man. I seriously do. And like, trying, so I'm trying to talk to people on Instagram, trying to talk to people on YouTube. So if I. Santa Scorch. Santa Scorch, yeah. Going back and forth. Uh, yeah, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, that is number two. That is the second hyper rare Charizard that we have pulled from Champion's Path. We just need the shiny one. We need the shiny V Champion's Path Charizard. That one keeps on eluding us. Should I save all the Vulpixes for Celeste? Because I keep seeing them. You should save the Vulpix for <laughs> Celeste. Vulpe Celeste is the Vulpix queen. She didn't like me calling her that for a while, but then the other day she's like, I'm the Bullpix Queen. Oh, now she owns it. <laughs> she owns it. 
Yeah. And nah, nothing. All right, I need to look at some comments. Um, ooh, Gardevoir V. All right, we'll take that. Hyper, or not hyper rare, ultra rare. Where are the kids at? Yo, this is we knew this was going to be a very long opening. And so the thing is that we know this. So Celeste, I tried, I, I, the longest opening I've done with her was like 50 minutes long. And she was like she done. Was she was totally done <laughs> after like 30 minutes. And so she's at, they're at Nana and Grandpa's house. Oof. Knocking over cards. Professor's research. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so they're they're being watched right now by family members. So we could do this. But yeah, I, if you go back and watch this video, as I say several times how I miss being her being here. I'm not a good enough substitution. No, you are a fantastic I, I don't <laughs> I even just don't get as excited because I don't know what I'm looking at. I see, I'm not even gonna call you a substitution. You're just uh you're just, you know, I'm just here. you're my wife. You're my witness. You, it's it's different. How did I get my wife to participate? My wife stays far away. <laughs> well, I don't know. How did you par decide to participate? How about you answer that? Um, oh, yeah, I actually really like these reverse hollow energy cards. Oh, hey, another ultra rare Venusaur. So, Bethany, tell me, what made you decide to... <laughs> I'm oh. honestly not sure. It's just, it's kind of fun just seeing what we're going to get, even if I don't know what they're worth or anything. I uh -huh. just, it's fun to see your reaction when I get something good. <laughs> I also kind of want to beat you and get better cards <laughs> than you. <laughs> you have actually been keeping track of who's pulling what. Although I did pull that hyper rare charge card, so I think I automatically won champions there. Yeah. Just saying. Will there only ever be one of those in a box? Uh, in a box? Oh, another hyper rare. Let's go. Hyper rare Gardevoir V. I don't think we pulled the hyper rare one. We pulled every version of this except for the hyper rare. Man, Champion's Path being very good to us today. Like, gosh, they're crushing right. the rest of the sets. I feel like Oops. I. Oops, I feel like Dropping I cards. accidentally put the wrong cards in the wrong place. All right. Hey, Will, what's up, man? I don't know if you're just hopping in or if you're leaving, but nice to see you. Hey, we got 23 Poke, Poke Shop on Instagram. Dude, 23 key Poke Shop. You missed out on a sweet pull. We pulled the hyper rare Charizard. It was fantastic. There's another Vulpix. And all right. How, how many packs? Oh, we still got quite a few packs of Champions Path left. Uh, do you sell raw, raw cards on eBay or T? I only sell raw cards. Um, well, let me take a step back. I. What the? What? Did I put that code down or is there no code card in here? I don't think this pack had a code card. That is weird. Or maybe you're so fast you realize you Maybe I am so fast. I don't even know. Uh, what am I doing? Do I sell? Oh, so um, if, did I do this right? I don't even remember what I'm doing anymore. I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> Um, do, oh, do I sell a card? So normally if it's like a, a uh, there's another Vulpix. Collecting lots of Vulpix cards today. If it's a Graplocked V, I don't think I did that right, but anyway. Graplocked V, Omash, you know plenty about Graplocked, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will sell, so like ultra rares, I will normally sell like maybe as a lot, like three together, um, and then price them at market price. Um, as far as like, you know, like, a hollow, regular hollow rare. I normally will uh, will sell those uh, locally, just like on Facebook Marketplace. Just do like, you know, fifty cards um, for whatever. I don't even remember what I price them at, like ten bucks, eight bucks, whatever it is. And then I'll say like, you know, 
20 commons, 15 uncommons, 10 rare, whatever that is, whatever, whatever the allotment is. But I don't sell on TCG player. Maybe I should. I don't know. I just, are you kidding? Okay. You didn't get one. Uh, one? There was no code card in that one either. Uh, that is very weird. Very, very weird. But yeah, we did get the what in the world is going on here? I did the. Is it mixed up? Okay, this just might be an error box. Okay, because I thought that happened with me too. Yeah, because I did the four I cards it and it wrong. didn't. Yeah. That's okay. I think we got like some kind of weird box. Yeah, because I you. That was the energy. Yeah, energy cards right there. So it's like five yeah. instead of four for the card trick. Opex. And oh, another hyper rare. Pierce. Let's go. All right. Gosh, guys, that's three hyper rares from Champions Path. We're getting good vibes over here. Good vibes? Hey, I appreciate the good vibes. Guys, Champions Path definitely kicking butt today. Okay, so no <laughs> no code cards in these packs. What oh, in the world? Yeah, I think it went either. Okay, so then the this should be five instead of four, right? <laughs> five? Yeah. Okay, but I don't know how I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. I don't know what's up with these packs, but yeah, these don't have any code cards in them. Just hopping in, Will. Sweet. I appreciate it. And no. Oh. Hatterene. Okay, we're down to our last is it four? Yep. Five? Four or five packs? Oh, we have five. Five packs? Okay. Let's see if we can so get we can another rainbow pack. rare. Yep, no. Yeah, no code card. <laughs> okay, we definitely got some kind of error box in that there are no code cards and the card trick is five cards. Uh, I found three Champions Path ETBs yesterday. There was all, always someone who bought it all. But yesterday, good man, I'm so pumped for you. Yeah, Champions Path is such a hard set to find, especially the ETBs, because all of those get scooped up super quickly. We got two Rotom phones. What the heck is up with these packs? I mean, I was going to say potentially tempered. No, nah, not tempered. I was just saying how these packs probably aren't tempered with because they came from... Because I'm pretty sure all these came from uh, Pokemon Center. I might have—I actually might have gotten one of these from GameStop. Do five. Yeah, do five instead of four. Oh wait, this one has. This one didn't. Okay, this one has a code card. <laughs> all right. I am. Hitterous. So confused. Is that? Yeah. That, okay, that's the. Dude, I don't know what's up with this rainbow luck. It's the ball and Zatiki luck. That's all I can say. And two Ekans, and hey, another Incineroar. All right. I will take it. I need all the Incineroars I can so I don't sorry, have to sorry. travel 20 minutes to buy one. <laughs> You're covered now. Wait, yeah. that was your last pack. Oh, that was my last pack. Okay. You're supposed to go against me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, my last pack, I didn't pull now anything. I'm just awkwardly going to do this by myself. Well, my last pack was a Scrafty, so. Henry du Dufour? Dufour, what's up, man? Sage and Grookey, welcome back. And Will, no worries. Get all the sleep you need, man. Get all the sleep you need. Oh, I think I see something good in the back. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Hey, hop full art. Not a bad way to end Champion's Path. So. Actually, we've never pulled that card before. Guys, Champion's Path, I think, crushed it. We had to do a quick review. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, oh my gosh. Okay, we got to organize these a little bit so we can go through this because these were some insane pulls. All right, let's go through this real quick. So wait, wait real quick. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven ultra rares and and three hyper rares, man. 
Uh, Champions Path is definitely in the le- in the in the lead for best set of the year. And this at least for this opening, because guys, we got all these V cards, full art. We got the hyper rare uh, Gardevoir V Max, the Piers, and the Zard. Oh my gosh, it's just ah oh, too much. Champions Path does not like being called. A sucky, a sucky set because I've been man, I've been hearing lots of people saying how much Champions Path sucks. But guys, we pulled the Hyper Rare Zard. <sighs> All right, that's it. That's that's Champions Path. Let's set these aside, and we go. We move into our last set of this opening, last set of the year. Vivid Voltage. We gotta make some room because, gosh, there are a lot of cards on this table. So give us one sec while we readjust. Put those there. Oh, well, we'll give away some code cards in a sec. We are running out of sleeves. Yeah. Do you have any more? Oh, uh, well, yeah, downstairs. Okay. But let's put that there. Okay, real quick, guys. Here's some code cards for y'all. Hopefully someone uses these. Let me know if you're using them. And let us know if you get anything good. What's the best card you can get? Oh, so Vivid Voltage. We're moving on to Vivid Voltage. My wife already got it all set up. Um, the best card is that hyper rare Chonka Chu V Max. All right, I'm throw this away. All right, I got my stack. And back to some of the comments. Biggest goals for 2021? Um, like for the channel or just in general? And yes, that is our second Rainbow Rare, which I'm super pumped we pulled it. I that shiny card, that shiny V full art keeps on eluding us, but I'm super pumped we pulled that one. I feel like I haven't oh. got a good technique down. It's okay. I mean, just do your thing. Just do your thing. It's all good. Go. Guys, we just might be able to, because my wife hopped in, we just might be able to keep this under two hours and actually get our girls back on time. Both? Okay. Um, Excuse me. So, YouTube wise, uh, 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And then, uh, I guess, outside of YouTube, uh, between my job and what we do on the side selling, want to do, want to, so gross, gross profits, be able to do 10000 or more a month by the end of the year, and then just pay off a ton of debt. That's basically, <laughs> I think that pretty much sums up our goals for 2021. Yeah. Right. Okay, nothing too special from Vivid Voltage so far, but let's see if we can pull that chunk of chew. You know, this actually, I just realized, uh, this is our first pack opening tournament. Ooh, Leon, Leon Hala, that's a cool card. This is our first uh, uh, booster, booster box opening of Vivid Voltage. Four. Ooh, yeah, here we go. First ultra rare bit of voltage colossal V. Look at that. Okay. You know, for a rocky, for a rocky dude, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Is that just me? That just me? That might just be you. That just might be me. Dude, I'm so pumped for you. I'm so pumped. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Student loans, man. Student loans. I'll be so pumped when all of our debts are paid off. Like, oh, I got, I got some, I got some even bigger goals. Like, once all the debts are, are paid off, I want to be going to town on some things, Fina- while being financially, you know, uh, responsible. <laughs> Jotian, all right. 
All right, guys, you gotta let us know. Is that a, yeah, it's a, it's a reverse hollow rare and a Flareon. You guys gotta let us know. If we pull the chunk of chew today, who's pulling it? Is it going me or is it going my wife? Uh, biggest goal 20, pull the shiny Charizard from either Hidden Fates or Champion's Path. That would be so sweet. Good luck on that. Uh, like, oh, so, I mean, so a lot of, so obviously a lot of our, so a lot of money that we, uh, we have come in goes into paying off debt. And so, uh, we just want to be able to shift that money into like building the collectible shop into obviously saving a whole lot more money, obviously saving, uh, saving money for a house, all that, all that good stuff, but especially going to town on just the business going to town on on the collectible the, the future collectible shop oh there is going to be a shining fates freaking charizard ah oh, i hate pokemon but i love them so much why they got to be like that this is actually i i take back what we're going to say we're never going to be financially set because of pokemon <laughs> i'm just kidding was oh, that a rare or i mean hollow rare sweet Yancy. Luckily, I'm not the only one who handles our money. And so, ooh, Galarian Darmanitan V. That is an ultra rare. We will take it. Luckily, it looks like the abominable snowman. It looks like abominable snowman. But yeah, luckily I'm married to my wife, and so we will never spend all of our money on Pokemon. <laughs> if I was single, I would be broke with a ton of Pokemon cards. But I'm happily married, I should mention. I'm happily married. I'm very happy to be married, especially to my wife. Not just to be married, but to be married to my wife. Like legitimately, our marriage is like my favorite thing in the world. Don't make me cry on the life. Reverse Hollow Charmeleon and Mudsdale. Execute. We'll hopefully have a website soon for selling some packs. That'll be sweet. That'll be sweet. All right, we got 13 minutes to, well, no, we got like 12 minutes to keep this under two hours. I mean, we're pretty close. Yeah, we're pretty. We're, we're, we got just a few packs left. And hey, Orbital VMAX, let's go. All right, I'll take it. Yes, I'm just, I, I want that Pikachu card. Hey, Orbital V, all right. <laughs> to go with the VMAX. <laughs> I know, right? Like, happily married. Don't get me wrong. But I, I'm just, man, maybe it's a good thing I'm married because, yeah, all my money would probably just go to. Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and yeah, nerdy stuff. Go. Where are you, Chonka Choo? Where have you gone to? Slide. No, you guys don't want me to start singing on this live stream. <laughs> Zapdos. Yeah, that's a sweet card. Hi, hello, hello, zero one zero six oh seven. How you doing? Oh, put that right there. Five comments, three on comments, one reverse. That that sounds like a pretty solid pack. Sage. And the one thing. That I, I shouldn't say I dislike, but more that's like, eh. Oh, hey, Toga Kiss V. There we go. But I guess I'm a little disappointed about about getting back into. Um, oh, 
Age of Slash VMAX Hyper Rare. We actually had pulled this one already. And we sold it, actually, just like last week. <laughs> but, hey, that is not the Pikachu, though. It's not the Chonkachu. <laughs> but, hey, we will take it. We will definitely take it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, that's... Oh, we're almost out of sleeves. I don't even remember what I was talking about. My fiance. <laughs> well, it sounds like you got a really good fiance then. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know you were... Wait, did I know you were engaged? I don't remember. But congrats. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shaman Hollow. Oh, well, what I was going to say, though, is that... Um, yeah, the one thing I'm, I guess, slightly disappointed about... Hey, Zekrom. Uh, getting back into Pokemon is that... Like I came back into Pokemon like now, like last little bit, is that pulling a hollow rare basically means nothing now. <laughs> like back in the day, that was like, hey, Diagla, and hey, it's Pikachu, but it's not the hyper rare. Oh. It's still Pikachu V Max, the Chonkachu. We found him. Not the hyper rare, but hey, we will take it. We will definitely take it. He's so chunky. <laughs> I just want to poke his belly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. Pikachu, where's your rainbow brother? Ah, oh, man, I need some more water. I want to share with the world how you balance paying for a channel, a business, and a normal day life? Uh, I don't. We're broke. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let me see. Let me actually go back to that. I bounced paying for it. So the channel, so a lot of, I think I went a little too crazy on buying cards, if I'm being completely honest, probably a few months ago. And so a lot of the cards that we open up are just stuff that we've had. Um, beyond that, we do use the side business to help pay for some of these cards. Oh, Rayquaza. Oh, that's cool. Yes, uh, to, to, to Amazing Rare. I forgot what these were called. Amazing. I forgot I forgot Amazing Rares were in these. Rayquaza Amazing Rare. Let's go. And shed, shed, nin, shed in the dibs of the. <laughs> Let's go. I, actually, is this the best one from the set that you can pull as far as the Amazing Rares? It's a very beautiful card. Sweet. Um, <laughs> Quagsire. <laughs> Uh, but what was I doing answering your question? Okay, I should answer your question while maybe you, you open packs. Okay. But um, so yeah, so our side business where we sell stuff on eBay, on Mercari, on Facebook Marketplace, that helps pay for the packs. Um, also, when we open up packs, we oftentimes we don't keep a lot of cards um, just because we want to keep the well the money coming in so we can buy more packs, keep the YouTube channel going, as well as pay off other debt. Um, so that's basically how we fund that. And then a business, I mean, our business pays for itself. Like we use, we don't take a lot of money out of the business. We put whatever we earn, we put back into it to buy more inventory. Um, ooh, Electros, reverse rare. Moo cheese. Yeah, moo <laughs> cheese. So yeah, so we try not to take too much money out of the business. Um, we, again, we do take some of it though. You know, that helps to pay for bills. That actually did help to pay for a lot of bills um earlier this year you know with covid and whatnot we did have to take a lot more money out um which was which is very nice to have that um but yeah that's that's the business side in a normal day life i mean what's normal <laughs> honestly uh i between if you include the youtube channel ooh, reverse hollow cliff fable if you include the youtube channel and the side business i don't even know i probably work maybe 13 hours a day 14 hours i don't even know i work a lot i basically i wake up you know do my thing i you know I, i'm christian i read scriptures in the morning have breakfast sometimes i'll take care of the girls but then after that i i'm like at it like all doing, day. yeah all day until until it's time to put the, the girls to bed 
And then, and then uh, sometimes you keep working. Yeah, and then I keep working after that. <laughs> so like sometimes the girls would be put back to bed and then I'm working on a YouTube video. I'm working on uh, something for the business. I'm selling stuff, I'm packing, I'm packaging orders. Um, so yeah, and honestly, I enjoy it because I, I do take time for my kids. You know, I do, I will spend some time with them. Oh, you pull another, another uh, amazing rare Raikou. Sweet, sweet pull. That's actually my favorite from the set, the favorite amazing rare. But yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy working. I just, I just do like if, again, if I was single, not only would I buy a bunch of Pokemon cards, but I pro I'd probably work like 16 hours a day. Cause I just, I just enjoy working. Um, but no, I, I do spend time with my kid, with my girls. I, um, especially on the weekends, I will spend more time with them. I'll let, I'll let Bethany sleep in and all that good stuff. And yeah, that's, I guess that hopefully that answers your question. Yeah, that's, Ooh, Hey, beauty, beauty. full art beauty. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. We're trying to like, I'm trying to like have a conversation and watch your packs and all that good stuff. My last pack. Oh, you're on. Oh gosh. I'm, Okay, you take one, one, one pack. One. All right, let me see. Yeah, save one pack and then we'll do our last one again. Okay, did I do? Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get to all the questions. Uh, engaged four years. Dude, you've been engaged for four years. Why aren't you married yet? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Like, you're basically married. Just like slap a, um, a ring on it and a uh, marriage certificate on it, then boom, you're done. Nah, okay. <laughs> oh, <I'm> dropping. <laughs> He's dropping cards. I'm sorry. <laughs> can, can you reach that? Yeah, I'll get it later. It's not <laughs> nothing super good. Okay. It just like fell out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, just looking at... Okay. Oh, hey, Aegis slash V. Okay, here we go. Sorry, totally getting distracted by comments. Okay, Wiffles, you need to be with me on like every live stream <laughs> because there's no way I can balance. A better question, how do I balance opening up cards, talking to my wife and talking to you guys? <laughs> that is a better question to ask because I don't know how to juggle all that. Okay, you go do that while I open up this pack. And then we are down to our last two packs. And then we will go pick up our girls. <laughs> or maybe I should put away these cards first. I don't even know. Okay, we really pulled the hyper rare, but is there any way we can pull Dural Duraladon? Um, another hyper rare card. I really, is that, I mean, nothing's impossible, right? Because, oh gosh, I actually, I almost feel like we do need another hyper rare card in this box because there was no hyper rares in Darkness of Blaze or Rebel Clash. And so, yeah, I feel like we need, we need like the Pokemon gods need to grant us a second hyper rare in this, in this box. Last pack magic, let's see. Just waiting on my wife. We're going to do last pack magic pack battle. Oh, dude, just uh, just sell Pokemon cards, then you can afford your wedding. <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta get a drink, dude. Ah, yeah, like I, I've said several times, guys, this sword's been kind of killing me. But I'm surprised it hasn't been worse this whole time. But I'm starting to feel it now that we're getting to the end. Maybe just adrenaline. All right, waiting on my wife. Waiting on my wife. Waiting on you. Okay, last pack magic. Last pack magic battle. <laughs> and let's see what we get. Well, my hands are kind of still wet. Oh, you can't grab Pokemon cards with wet hands. I'm Even Celeste knows this. <laughs> okay, we gotta take a moment. Especially, okay. especially if there's a chocolate tune there, you get it wet. My fingertips are the same. The same. All right. Four. Just a sec. Just a sec here. All right. 
I'm going to go very slowly. Which way? Do you do four? I think so. Okay, here we go. Yes, last pack magic battle. Here we go. Bute, Shelder, Slugma. Is that Beldum? Yeah. Um, Milkery, Gober, and. <laughs> Okay, who won? Who won? <laughs> I don't think either of us won, but if we if you had to that pick a winner, sad that was a very sad ending. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we gotta do a review. Let us know who won that last pack. But let's do a quick review of what we pulled for. Uh vivid voltage. Let's see, we got well, let me just put these in order. Or at least in somewhat order. Watch. Okay. We did get Toakis V, uh, Orbeetle, Galarian, Darmanitan V, got Full Art Beauty, got Orbeetle VMAX, the Chonga Chu, not the Hyper. We both won. <laughs> oh, they're saying I won without Creamy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, we got two uh, amazing right. rares and the Aegis Slash VMAX. So in total, let me see real quick. We got a, oops, I clicked something. I think based on cuteness factor, you definitely won. I think so too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ultra rares, two amazing rares, and a, one hyper rare. Man, I think Vivid Voltage, who won? Okay, guys, we got to do a quick review on every set let us know which set was the best. So we just looked at Vivid Voltage. Okay, I love you, love. Thank you for joining me. You are amazing. <laughs> you can't have a nap. We're going to get our girls soon. Okay, so Vivid Voltage. Uh, that was Vivid Voltage. Okay, let's look, review real quick. Champion's Path. These were the pulls. Man, some good pulls from Champion's Path. Piers, Charizard V. Max, can't believe you pulled that again. Uh, Darkness of Blaze was. I was a little disappointed in Darkness of Blaze, not gonna lie. We got some good cards, don't get me wrong. But hoping for Charizard. Okay, that was Darkness of Blaze, Rebel Clash. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can have that if you want. This was Rebel Clash. Boom, boom, and another sword and shield. The poles were these. Yeah, you missed the Charizard from Champion's Path. And boom. Okay, guys, those are the poles from every set. Who do you guys think won? Which set won? this 2020 wrap up battle. Like what set was the best? I got my own thoughts, but I want to hear yours real quick before we wrap up. And I'll give you guys some Vivid Voltage codes while you guys let us know who won this this, uh, this set battle. What? Oh yeah, the water's over here. Happy New Year's, homage, Champions Path. I think the consensus is Champions Path. Champions Path and Vivid Voltage tied? Okay, I could see that. All right, I think the consensus is either Champions Path or Vivid Voltage. Honestly, I have no idea who won. I'm going, I'm going to say probably Champion's Path just because that Charizard. I mean, that Charizard was – and we pulled three Hyper Rares. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, that's it. Happy New Year. Instagram, love you guys. Peace. Yes, I want to end the video. And you guys who are chilling with us on YouTube, so appreciate it. Have a fantastic New Year. Love you guys. Stay safe and take care.